welcome back to my channel and today let's take a look at the all new updated Honda Ridgeline. The Honda Ridgeline is an interesting alternative to the traditional midsize pickup. What it lacks in outright towing or payload capabilities, it more than makes up for with excellent on-road manners and plenty of functionality. The Ridgeline gets a number of updates for 2021, none of which change the overall form factor. Because of that, it's not much more expensive heading into the 2021 model year either. The only Honda with a cargo bed, the 2021 Ridgeline is a one-size-fits-all alternative to the traditional pickup truck. While Ridgeline lineup doesn't include an off-road ready model or an optional diesel engine, it does have a standard crew cab that's roomier and more comfortable than any of its competitors. Its minivan-based underpinnings and V6 powertrain don't allow it to tow more than 5,000 pounds, but they do enable the Ridgeline to accelerate quickly, consume fuel efficiently, provide a competitive payload rating, and drive with unrivaled agility and refinement. Its host of standard driver assists and innovative features, including an in-bed trunk and a multifunction tailgate, further bolster the 2021 Ridgeline status as the truck equivalent of a Swiss Army knife. What's new for 2021? Before the 2021 model year, people could say the Ridgeline looked like a lot of things, but rugged wasn't one of them. We're not so sure that the mid-size truck's makeover, which includes a fresh design from the roof pillars forward, will quiet all the haters, but it definitely looks bolder than before. Enhancing this fresh aesthetic is a new package from the Honda Performance Development that's available on all trim levels and adds black over fenders, a distinctive blacked out grille, HPD graphics on the bed walls and cool looking bronze wheels. Non-HPD models get a standard set of newly designed 18-inch wheels with more aggressive all-terrain tires and reduced backspacing that gives the Ridgeline a wider track and a broader stance. Inside there is a smattering of subtle changes, but the biggest update is the revised infotainment system along with improved graphics and screen icons that Honda says are easier to use. The Ridgeline now comes with a physical volume knob addressing a years of complaints and an all-wheel drive is now standard. Engine transmission and performance The lone powertrain is a 280 horsepower 35 liter V6 that makes 262 foot-pounds of torque and hooks up to a 9-speed automatic transmission and standard all-wheel drive. The engine feels smooth and throttle response is especially receptive when you call for hard acceleration. An untraditional pickup in many ways, the Ridgeline surprises from behind the wheel, on the road, it's well-mannered and feels extremely competent. Its coil-sprung independent rear suspension contributes to a car-like ride quality not available with the leaf-sprung solid-axle setups used by the competition. Body lean in the corners is minimal and small bumps are barely noticeable. The electrically-assisted steering feels appropriate. The Ridgeline's braking performance stands out as its lone dynamic blemish. Its braking distance from 70 miles per hour to zero is on the long side, and we thought the brake pedal felt soft and had too much travel during normal use. Is the Honda Ridgeline a real truck? What constitutes a real truck comes down to an individual truck driver, but there's no denying that the Ridgeline is different from every other truck on the market. Some pickup purists might scoff that the Ridgeline isn't the real deal, however, Honda begs to differ. It touts the Ridgeline's 4-foot wide bed and lockable in-bed storage area as benefits for securing cargo. The available dual-action tailgate which opens downward or to the side can support up to 300 pounds, easing transport of passports or other equipment. Maximum payload of 1580 pounds and towing capacity of 5000 pounds isn't as high as some competitors and even with the new tough-looking HPD package, the Ridgeline isn't a Colorado ZR2 Bison nor every truck purist will accept the Ridgeline as real. But some buyers may see the appeal in a unibody pickup truck and soon, Hyundai also plans to introduce the unibody pickup, the Santa Cruz pickup too. Unwavering Upgrades The Ridgeline's cosmetic overhaul and new rugged styling comes courtesy of the talented team of designers and engineers at Honda R&D America. It's been built out with new sheet metal from the front pillars forward and sports an entirely new fascia, fenders, bumpers and a squared off nose coupled with a jawline that's typically reserved for the brawny superhero of your favourite comic book. Interior Only the most eagle-eyed Honda fans will notice the changes to the 2021 Ridgeline's interior. The most obvious of those changes is the updated infotainment system. The size is the same 
for the new unit gets sharper graphics, improved icons and most importantly, an actual volume knob. Other minor changes are new cloth seat inserts for the sport trim, revised steering wheel and center console accents for the sport, RTL and RTL-E models and contrasting stitching on the seats. Univision As a truck, the ridgeline is not clear enough. Its foundation is built on an unorthodox approach which has allowed it to deliver creative features beyond the run-of-the-mill offerings of other mid-size trucks. Contrary to the standard offering of most competitors' body-on-frame construction, Ridgeline's now signature unibody features a Honda exclusive, advanced compatibility engineering body structure which has been a large contributing factor to its success since. The innovative underpinning is shared amongst equivalently adept passport and pilot in Honda's lineup. Price It costs $37,665 for the base Ridgeline 2021 Sport, the more generously equipped RTL, RTLE and Black Edition trims cost $40,000, $43,000 and $45,000 respectively.